Welcome back to the Family Feud Marathon, everybody, for this weekend. We're getting underway with game number two. We came up seven points short in Fast Money, but fear not, we still have three other opportunities to get that ten grand. And bat at a bingo game, you see naked people. Well, you could. You wish. <laughs> right. Eugene has a point. Oh boy. You you wanna go second and fast money again, Alan? Yes. You got it. I will let you. Dad don't screw up this time. Well, 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 yeah, because Batten did give three number one answers, but hey, give the number two answers. I think you gave a number. I think you gave a number one answer as well on the baseball. I think that was number one. And as for the uh, the bingo question, I would have said bingo cards as the number one as a yeah, my answer. But that's okay. No worries. No worries. We're only getting started. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Alan. It's cool. All right. Here we go. Where do you keep your sunglasses? Um, you keep them in your car. Bat, if you were to give a stupid answer, what would you say? You keep your sunglasses. What was the question? Here's a stupid answer you could give. Where do you keep your sunglasses? Up your ass. Up whose ass? I was gonna say up that is funny. Bat, I got something to tell you. My ass is too good for your sunglasses. Thank you very much. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, where do you keep your sunglasses? Purse. In a case. In a case. That's right, Alan. I went ahead and said purse. I'll go with a uh, case next for sure. Yep, purse is there. Said by thirty-one people. <laughs> and I still can't get over that video that Marty shared with us earlier when his dad came into the room. <laughs> you, might, you mind if I explain that for the folks home with no idea? Uh, by all means, by all means. Okay, so uh, a couple hours before we taped this, uh, there was a Sesame Street special that aired on like seven different networks, I think it was. It's called Elmo's Virtual Play Day. And I actually kind of enjoyed it, to be honest. I really did. Anyways, uh, Elmo and uh, one of the special guests, Lynn manuel Miranda, uh, were together, I guess, and they sang, yeah, Old McDonald had a farm, and Dad came walking in, saw, saw the TV, and started singing Old McDonald had a farm, and I'm just looking at him like, no, you're not, you are not going to sing Old McDonald had a farm, he did, and I got it on camera. I just lost it. I, I was like, oh my god. This is... and, and, the, and the crazy thing was, I, I had watched it live as is. Didn't go back and watch it. I watched it live. As oh. it so that that's the crazy thing. Where do you keep your phone? I watched it live as it happened. And he came in. Saw the TV, saw Elmo and Lynn Manny Lumber and singing Old McDonald had a farm, he joined in. I uh, took uh, one half my mom. I just, uh, okay. Uh, okay. I, I don't even know how to describe it now. One half of my mind's like, yes, I finally got it on okay. the other, The other part of my mind is like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> So we have car, purse, on top of head. Oh, I got one. We have two strikes. I'm going to say shirt, pocket. 
Some people keep their sunglasses in their shirt pocket. I do that occasionally. Well, yeah, that's a good answer. Thank God! Hooray. We got a clean sweep. Da, da. You sure nailed that one. Hell yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Batten, I've got a question for you. Yeah? Got any grapes? Yes. <laughs> I asked somebody at my workplace the other day, I asked them, pardon me, but do you have any great coupon? And what did they say? They're like, what the hell is great coupon? <laughs> so I had to explain that it was a, a joke from a movie, but it's also a type of spicy mustard. Right. Which, everybody out there who knows me, I love mustard. Mustard. French's mustard, I like honey mustard, I like uh, spicy mustard, grape coupon. What? I said honey mustard is the shit. I love honey mustard. I can't do spicy mustard, that would make me good. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, now we have the top three answers, okay. Top three answers are on the board. Good Yeah, only three answers this time, uh, Marty. Oh, we have the story time is one part of the day in nursery school. Name another. How appropriate, Marty. Story time. Wait, wait, wait. What's the question? Story time is one part of the day in nursery school. Name another. Uh, I gave the number one answer of nap time. Oh, shit. That was my answer. And because, well, those are two of Marty's favorite words. Story time. Story time! That's awesome, Marty. Very good special. I at one point, I asked Batten this question, I asked him to give a stupid answer, and he said, Sex time. Sex time, yeah. That sounds like some. Playtime! And we're not talking about that sort of playtime. Funny, Marty, I thought you were going to say something else. Shut up. <laughs> That's better. That's better. I get, and the last answer is snack time. And we're not talking about that kind of snack either. Oh my god. And snack time is the other answer. Something tells me I see a Ben in the near future. Well, we'll see. So, by the way, Marty, you said your next episode of Cards Against Humanity airs tomorrow night? Yep. Well, I'm definitely going to watch it as soon as I get home from work tomorrow night. I, I tell you, I've done a lot more post-production than I did in the original series. I think I like it better this way. I have more fun editing these shows than I did with the other ones. i got to be honest. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to edit my videos a lot more now. That's I good. Really, I also I also have a new series up on my channel. It's uh, those uh, book and audio tapes. Oh yeah, I've been watching those too. Yeah, I I I, I uploaded one earlier. Let's go. Oh, you uploaded one like just now? Uh. Or uh, earlier in the week. One hundred feet. Earlier tonight. Right? Okay, well I'll be sure to check that out too. One twenty thirty minutes ago. I'll, I'll send you the link to it. Oh, thank you. Name a subject on which you and your spouse disagree. Ah, uh, I'm. Alan's gonna save me out of this. Making love. <laughs> Let's see where making love is on the survey. It's number four, said by five people. Oh well. Let's see what the other family says. They say... In-laws! Sur survey says that'll make the survey when 
Miley Cyrus becomes president of the United States. Yeah, we got Ben Spindon with us now, peeps. Yeah, there's not an empty seat in our studio tonight. A subject on which you and your spouse disagree. How about housework? Housekeeping. And even though there's... Well, the thing is, we're not breaking the rules of the social distancing thing of no more than 10 in a group. Besides, we're behind our computers. We can get away with it on Discord. That's the best part about it. Exactly right. Any questions? We can get away with it on Discord. Exactly right. Now, Marty, go ahead and say, any questions? Any questions? No. Class dismissed. Class dismissed. can't bitch at us. I was going to say class dismissed. All right, you can say it. No. <laughs> I said politics and it's number two. Politics. <laughs> and Louis said the magic words. Subject on which you and your spouse disagree. Um, children? by 14 people. <laughs> um, how about cooking? No, not there. Uh, we have politics, children making love. How about, I don't know, money. Money and finances was number one. So we have money and finances, we have uh, making love, children, and politics. Uh, oh, I don't want to get too sensitive, but for some reason, I'm thinking religion. I'm just going to go with religion. Oh, and it's not there. Good answer, though. I mean, that, that's one topic that could kill a relationship in the New York Minute. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. Well said, Bingo. Right. And you're on. Another player, okay. Um, a subject on which you and your spouse disagree. Um. Housekeeping wasn't there, but how about. Uh, chores is not there, no. How about food? I'm just going to say food. Oh, it's there! We got it! So, Bat, when we get to Fast Money, which is after this next round, Bat is going first, and Alan said he wants to redeem himself and go second again, so I'm going to let him do so. So anyways, uh, Ben, if he's there, since when did Ben spend to become your Uncle Batten? Anyways, uh, anyways, Benji, so I figured out the problem with my diamond one-touch capture card. The CD-ROM I had with it, I threw it away. Yeah. Go ahead, say the three magic words. Uh, well, that's only two words, but okay. But however, I'm using a different capture card instead. Everybody ready? Name something sold in the linen department. 
Something sold in the Lennon department. I've seen this question before. In the what department? Lennon. L-I-N-E-N. Yeah. Bed sheets. Yeah, I'm gonna say sheets. Tablecloth. Uh, towels. Pillows. Pillowcases, yeah. We'll play. Yeah, play it. Alright, he said it. Gonna play? Let's go. Yay! By the way, is Bingo still with us? He's on death end. Oh, okay. He must be doing something. I'm gonna say a tablecloth. I'm afraid to hear what he would say. No, he didn't, he didn't hear it. Thank God. No, I'm saying if he had, I'm afraid what he, his answer would be. Yeah, well, repeat the question one more time. Just what you think. So. You want me to repeat the question? Yeah. Name something specific you would see at a bingo game. Yeah, he'd probably say naked people too. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Batten, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's get to question number one. Name a language you learn in school. How about Spanish? Espanol, yes, sir. Me. Name a place on themselves where men dab alone. How about their... Oh, God, their chest? I remember the first time I asked you this question, you said penis. Name a shape Christmas cookies come in. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, what, what is the shape of the Christmas tree? Christmas tree, there you go. Christmas tree, yeah. What is the shape of the Christmas tree? <laughs> when is a one-word question. Tell me another one-word question. Uh, one-word question, no. No, when is a one-word question. Tell me another one-word question. There you go, how? Here we go! Uh oh. Oh! Alan, get ready to say, or er, he's probably deafened during the underground. He's deafened, yeah. Okay, Batten, are you ready? Yeah. Bingle, get ready to giggle at this. Name something worn <laughs> above the waist. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
That's not above the waist, Patton. I'm gonna say that's not above the waist. This kid has got 48. You said the chest. So raise the head. Nine. Yes. You said, what's the shape of a Christmas tree? Survey said, 54. Oh, yeah. When is a one word question? Tell me another one word question. You said, how? That got eight. Oh, wow. Something worn above the waist. You said the buttocks of Ben Spinded, which got absolutely nada. <laughs> Bring Alan back in here. How bad is it? Batten got you 119. Okay. You need 81. You can do it. Here we go, Alan. Okay. Name a language you learned in school. Spanish. Try again. Damn it, French. There you go. You got it. All right. Name a place on themselves where men dab cologne. Uh, um, there are. Okay. All right. Name a shape Christmas cookies come in. Uh, star. Good, good. When is a one-word question? Tell me another one-word question. Wait, what? When is a one-word question? Tell me another one-word question. Um, what? There you go. <laughs> oh, that was your answer before? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now name something worn above the waist. Yes. Um. Hmm. A shirt. Batten, tell Alan your answer. I said Ben spent the death. <laughs> I think you may have redeemed yourself, Alan. Let's find out. I hope so. You said French. The survey said on that one. 26. Spanish was okay. number one. Place on cells are mend up cologne. Neck was number one. But you said the arm. The arm didn't get anything, unfortunately. Shit. Now hang in there. Don't give up. Shape Christmas cookies come in. A Christmas tree was number one. You said a star, which got 23. Okay. That's good. That's good. When is a one word question in another? You said, did enough people say what for $10,000? We got it on the note! Shirt was number one on the word about the waist question. So we got ourselves a $10,000 win, ladies and gentlemen, but we're not finished with the marathon. We still have two more games to go. We'll get underway with game three when we come back from this break. Yeah. Ben Spindon's ass. Really bad. 